Okay, well, it's time for another video. I know I've been slightly slacking on the videos lately. Um, I've had a lot on, to be honest. And I don't know if I've explained before, but not everything goes on the channel that I obtain. Um, the newer stuff I don't tend to film. It's only really the trading stuff that I film on here so people can see what's been done with it, etc., etc. And obviously, some people get some entertainment value out of it. But people have been asking me over and over again, why don't I ever feature any Hondas? Well, here is your Honda. Uh, this is a early 90s. I'm guessing it's about a 91 Honda Big Red 300. Uh, this particular machine is actually two-wheel drive, not four-wheel drive. Um, the bloke did tell me it was four-wheel drive um, when I was negotiating it as a trade. Uh, but when it arrived, it was two-wheel drive. So I'm not sure if he uh, intentionally misled me or simply didn't know, but whatever. Uh, it's still a good machine. Uh, so why don't I like Hondas? Well, I'm not saying I don't like them. It's just that people think they're absolutely indestructible uh, and they just terribly, terribly abuse them. Uh, not everyone, but a lot of them. Uh, and what you end up with is a machine that's really knackered, uh, that's never been serviced, and people want three times more than anything else, when in reality the machine's three times worse than anything else because it's never been touched. Uh, this one, though, is one of the good ones. Obviously, it's almost 30 years old. Uh, but it's still in really quite clean condition. The seat is excellent on it. Somebody's uh, obviously recovered it, I believe. I think it's supposed to be grey, but the job's obviously done when the seat foam was still in excellent shape, and it's in really, really nice condition. That's probably the best seat I've seen on anything above 10 years old. Uh, these big reds are pretty unique in that they've got a steel uh, fuel tank. Uh, a common issue with these is they actually rust inside the tank, and a load of crap gets into your car. This one, though, is actually really quite clean. There's very, very minimal rust in there. Uh, it's a good idea to put an inline filter on your fuel hose, uh, which I may do. Uh, but as I say, this one's in really quite tidy shape. I'll see if I can start it up on camera. Might be a bit of a job on the kickstart. Come on. There we go. She runs nicely, doesn't make any really untoward noises, it revs clean through the gears, no smoke from it. The lights work on it, I think it does need a bulb in one side, yeah it needs a bulb in the one side. It's got the strangest sounding horn, at least the horn does work though. Uh, brakes on it are pretty good. This is your rear brake. That's very tight. Works well. It's also your handbrake with that little mechanism there, see? Uh, and your foot brake, they're all on the same mechanism. Front hydraulic brakes are okay. They've got a bit of pressure in them and they do stop the bike okay. They'll probably benefit from the drums being adjusted up a little bit. Front tyres are Kenda Bear Claws. They've got bloody good tread on them. Rear tyres, I actually believe, are the originals. <laughs> uh, they've still got a bit of tread. Let's see if we can see a, a date on a trail claw. I don't think I've ever seen that on any bike. Yeah, these are some old tyres, but they're still alright. They seem to hold air, uh, and I say they've got a bit of tread left. You've got a rear storage cubby here. How it works is you actually yeah, unlatch these two rack bars with this piece of rubber. They flip over, and then you can undo and have a look in the storage. I don't know if there's anything in here. I don't think I've actually opened it. Nope, just your standard amount of hay. Stick that down and put it back on. Surprisingly, these rubbers still exist. They're normally really dry rotted by this age. Come on. So what, the only problem with this bike uh, is the electric start doesn't work. Uh, and the reason for that is because the battery is dead for one and it's also got a bad starter solenoid. But I've ordered both uh, and they should be here anytime soon. Uh, and then really it'll be a fully functional machine. Uh, say it's actually quite a nice little bike this one uh, so if anybody wants it it will obviously be for sale uh, I should imagine the battery and starter selling will be here this week so anytime from this weekend uh, I'm going to put it on for 1450 so it's one of the cheapest working bikes I've had obviously it's as it is as all the trade-ins are but uh, seems to operate correctly so yeah if you're interested get in touch and I'll see you in the next one cheers